Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at drawing our picture frame in Inventor and in the next video we're going to take and show you how to run your tool pass. To begin our drawing we're going to start with new from the ribbon bar at the top select standard IPT and click create. I'm going to from my ribbon bar at the top choose my pencil piece of paper 2D sketch place that on our XY plane when it turns red click. Next, I'm going to click front in our world cube view up here in the right hand corner. That gives me zoom all. I'm going to begin with a rectangle tool. I'm going to start from my origin when the yellow dots turn green. Hold your mouse steady, click, and stretch out a rectangle. The horizontal width of this rectangle is 7.5. Press tab key on the keyboard. My vertical dimension of this rectangle is 9.5. And then press enter on the keyboard. Click front in your world cube to view all. And we're going to finish sketch. Let's click our home in order to view home view. Next, we're going to take an extrude. I want to extrude in direction number two. And I want to change my extrusion distance to 0.38. Once you have 0.38, direction number two, click OK. Next, we're going to take and place a 2D sketch pencil piece of paper and we're going to place it on our front view when it turns red click to place it. Click front in your world cube to zoom all or you can click the magnifying glass piece of paper zoom all. Next we're going to draw our two circles that are going to hold the pegs for standing our picture frame up. I'm going to choose my circle tool from the ribbon bar at the top. Come on to the left hand side of my picture frame workpiece and click. The dimension of this circle is 0.25. Press enter on the keyboard. Next I want to take in dimension. I want to dimension my location. So I'm going to dimension tool. I want to dimension from the left hand side of my workpiece to the center of that circle I just drew. Bring this dimension down. This dimension we're going to change to 0.5, half inch, and then green check mark or press enter on the keyboard. Next I'm going to dimension again from the bottom of my workpiece to the center of that circle we just drew. Bring this dimension out to the side. This dimension is 4.75 4 or 4 and 3 quarters of an inch. Green check mark. I'm going to use my circle tool again. I'm going to place a circle down here towards the bottom. Make sure you're staying on the workpiece. Click and stretch out a rectangle. This one is also 0.25. Press enter on the keyboard. We have to dimension the location for this hole as well. So I'm going to choose my dimension tool. I want to dimension from the left hand side of my workpiece to the center of that circle. Wait for the center dot to turn red. Bring this dimension down. This dimension here is 3.75, green check mark. Dimension tool once again. I want to dimension from the bottom of my workpiece, bottom of the picture frame, to the center of that circle. Wait for the dot to turn red. Click and bring this dimension out to the side. This dimension here is a half inch, so I'm going to enter in 0.5 for a dimension. And green check mark. Next, we're going to draw a big rectangle in here for our picture to fit in. Press the escape key on your keyboard. That lets go of the dimension tool. And now we're going to select the rectangle tool. For our rectangle tool, I'm going to take and somewhere in the upper left hand corner of my picture frame, I'm going to click and I'm going to stretch out a rectangle. My horizontal dimension for this rectangle is 4.13. Type that into the box right here. Press the tab key when you're done. The vertical height for this rectangle is 6.13. Type that in right here and then press enter on the keyboard. Now we have to position this rectangle on the workpiece itself. So press escape key to let go of your rectangle tool. And I'm going to choose my dimension tool. I want a dimension from the left hand side of my workpiece to the left hand side of the rectangle that I just drew and bring this dimension up. Whatever this dimension ends up being, I want to change it to 1.69 and then green check mark. I also want a dimension 
from the bottom of my rectangle to the bottom of my workpiece. Bring this dimension out. This dimension is also 1.69. And press enter on the keyboard or a green check mark. That looks good for our first step. Now we're going to go to our green check mark for finished sketch. And we're going to extrude. I want to extrude and I want to select the big rectangle that we just drew. I want to select the hole on the left hand side and the hole on the bottom or the circle on the bottom. Next, go to our menu up here. I want to extrude in direction number two. I want to make this a cut, so select cut. And I want to change the dimension to 0.19. Okay, so three things we changed here. Our dimension we changed to 0.19. I have cut selected, and I have direction number two selected. Once you have those three things done, click OK. That's looking good so far. Next, we're going to take and place a 2D sketch. So we're going to get a 2D sketch again. And we're going to place it on the inside surface of that rectangle we drew. Once you have your mouse there, and it's highlighted pink or highlighted red, click to select. Click front in your world cube view in order to zoom all. Next, we're going to take and place another rectangle on here so that we can view our picture that we insert here from the front view. So we're going to click rectangle. I'm going to come on to the inside of my workpiece and I'm going to draw another rectangle. I'm going to click, stretch out a rectangle. My horizontal dimension of this rectangle is 3.25. Type that into the box right here. Press the tab key on the keyboard. My vertical height for this rectangle is 5.25. Press enter on the keyboard. Next we need to locate this box, this rectangle that we drew on our part. So let's press escape to let go of our rectangle tool and let's get our dimension tool. I want a dimension from the left hand side of my rectangle that we just drew to the left hand side of my part. When it highlights red, click to select it. Bring this dimension up to the top. Click to place it. Whatever this dimension ends up being, we're going to change to 2.13. And then green check mark or press enter on the keyboard. Next, we're going to dimension from the top of my workpiece to the top of this rectangle that we just drew and bring this dimension out to the side. This dimension, once again, 2.13, we're going to type in and click green check mark or press enter on the keyboard. That looks great. Good job. Next, we're going to go to green check mark, finish sketch. I'm going to click the Extrude tool. I want to select this rectangle that we just drew. I want to cut. Select our second button down here. Make sure we have direction number two selected. And then where it says Distance here, we're going to change from Distance to All. So that it cuts all the way through the rest of the part. Once you have those things changed, All for our Extrusion Distance, Cut and direction number two selected, then click OK. Your part is finally finished, it looks great. Let's go up and save it. So we're gonna to go to the orange file in the upper left hand corner. We're gonna go down to Save As. We're gonna make sure that this is going into your H drive. First initial, last name, 000. And then your file name, we're gonna to change to your name and picture frame. So type in your, for your name and then picture frame. Once you have that done, click Save. Congratulations, your drawing's done. Go on to the next video in order to run your tool pass and how to cut your part.